first and foremost, experiences are definitely the most value type of reward that's going to really drive behavior. So the type of reward is something that a lot of sort of programs really get wrong and why they fail. You know, if they're really trying to sort of drive long-term behavior, you have to design a reward that is A, experiential, B, it signals sort of a value-driven behavior, and three, it's really sort of curated around the audience so that it's desirable. So our team spends a fair amount of time really understanding the human psyche and what drives humans to do certain things. So if we want to sort of drive humans to do a certain activity and sort of drive engagement, we really need to tap into that emotional component so that it could be effective. So how does that sort of tie back to incentives? Well, for an incentive to maximize its efficacy, it really must be driven around sort of that long-term behavioral change and really sort of thinking about, well, what do I want that consumer to accomplish? If I'm really going to sort of uh, create ROI for my organization, if I'm a health plan or if I'm an employer, I really want to make sure that I'm a driving uh, real long-term behavior change versus a transactional behavior. So I'm going to sort of break down the difference between a transactional award versus an experiential reward and why an experiential reward is so much more valuable. So a transactional reward is like money in your paycheck or just think of money in general. That's the most transactional thing. And oftentimes when money is given, it, it, it doesn't really spark any long-term emotion, so it therefore doesn't really drive any engagement, which is why a lot of reward programs fail because they give money as the actual reward. But if we really start thinking of you know, what sparks long-term behavior change and what sparks emotion, it's really around providing experiential rewards that are tied back to the behavior that you're trying to incentivize. So if I'm a health plan and I'm trying to incentivize healthy behavior, I want to make sure that my rewards are linked back to that. They're all healthy rewards that are experiential driven. So think of a yoga class or meditation or meal delivery or even, you know, um, athletic shoes, things that I, you know, I earn healthy behavior with healthy reward and I get something that um, I remember, I get something that I desire and I get something that's going to continue that healthy lifestyle.